Hello there, beautiful artists, and welcome back to another Saturday morning acrylic class. If you're a new student, welcome. Please hit subscribe. I post new tutorial videos twice per week, uh, acrylics on Saturdays and watercolors on Wednesdays. Today we're going to be painting jellyfish. I've already uh, put some black here onto my canvas because it's just going to be a solid black background. Very, very simple start today. Um, but you will, of course, need your palettes. I'll show you guys what paints we're going to be using uh, in the second step. But the first step is just to do a full black canvas to start with a deep ocean underwater feel here. So I will have my um, medium sized brush and my baby brush on hand as well. Putting that in my water cup off the screen here. Little bit of water on your big brush and go ahead and you know, you can put the paint on the palette on the side too if you want, but I find that it just saves a step and keeps my palette clean for the second part of the painting here if I just put the paint directly onto my canvas. And I'm actually going to get the sides here as well. Okay, just made sure that all my brush strokes were going up and down here and I got a nice full black coverage, very opaque. And now I'm just going to let this black background dry fully and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, welcome back. The black has fully dried and I've also prepped my palette with the other colors that I'll be using to create the jellyfish. So I have a fair amount of white, I have a nice bright yellow. This is an ultramarine blue, uh, violet or purple, red, and then my trusty phalo green, which is going to be a beautiful turquoise when we mix it with white. Okay, and before we get rocking and rolling here, we're going to kind of trace out these uh, jellyfish shapes for ourselves. So we're going to use our baby brush and we're going to mix up a light blue, just a little bit of white and just a pinch of that ultramarine blue with our baby brush we're going to do the main shapes here of our jellyfish in two different parts of the canvas they're actually going to be slightly tilted like ovals with slightly flat bottoms and they're going to be tilted different directions so sort of like an oval but then a flattened out bottom and see how light I am onto the canvas. You don't need to go over this very many times because this is actually going to be mostly covered up later. It's sort of like a, a pencil sketch. Okay. Got our two main parts of the jellyfish laid out. Okay, let's retire our baby brush for now. And let's grab our medium sized brush. Okay. And I'm actually going to create the tentacles, like the big main three vibrant red tentacles first. And this isn't necessarily an anatomically correct <laughs> uh, jellyfish here. So I'm not, you know, a marine biologist, just a painter. Uh, it might not be, you know, a certain species of jellyfish. Maybe it's an imaginary type of jellyfish. But my imaginary jellyfish here has big red tentacles. And actually it's going to be a little bit of white because since I'm uh, working with a black background, the white will help the red not be transparent. Okay, now from the middle part here of your flattened out ovals, you're going to place your medium sized brush and kind of wiggle your way down and then gently 
lesser pressure as you go down, kind of lighten up on the brush stroke and trail off. And you're going to do three of those sort of wiggly lines, but they're going to go different directions. You don't want three that are all exactly the same. It's okay if they're sort of the same. There we go. Okay, and then three for the top one as well. Great. Okay, let's retire that medium brush. And then let's grab our baby brush with the same light blue that we uh, started with. We're going to create more tentacles. These are going to be thin ones that are also sort of gentle back and forth, elongated, curved brush strokes like that. Coming down, you're actually going to want to go in between here as well. It's okay if it blends a tiny bit. Kind of creates a nice purple. With the baby brush as well, go ahead and rinse it out, mix up a light purple. We're going to add a few purple tentacles as well. These ones are going to be a little bit longer. It's okay if you're sort of running out of space in here. There's a lot of tentacles that are going to come from the bottom here. So just keep adding them and this is just going to go all the way off. It, it always looks nice if you Bring your painting sort of off the edges of the canvas, compositionally speaking. Nice. Now really quick, before our red, fully dry. So let's grab a little bit of pink. That's a lighter, much, much lighter red and pink there. And we're actually going to curve down here on top of the red brush strokes, but we're going to start from one edge and kind of go and overlap, not necessarily going in the same curved pattern. It's hard to explain. Sometimes steps are very visual. So you can see there slightly different curve. And it's pulling the red and creating that very jellyfish tentacle like semi transparent look. Okay, let's uh, leave the tentacles alone for a second let those dry. Uh, we have one more step down there uh, on top of the purple tentacles. We're going to add some nice uh, white dots, but for now, let's let that dry. Uh, up here in this main part of our jellyfish creatures, we're going to create some internal anatomy that I should have brushed up on. Um, I don't know what it's called. Um, so I don't even know, you know, jellyfish don't have brains. I do know that. And that has always blown my mind. They just float around out there. Just a sack of organs. <laughs> okay. So I have now a light yellow and my baby brush. I do these paintings in one take. So it's always interesting <laughs> what I say. Okay. Um, light yellow, a little bit of white mixed in with that yellow, load that up on your baby brush. And we're going to create what's not a brain in here. In the very scientifically named top part of the jellyfish. It's just kind of like a smooshed yellow circle filled in with yellow. 
Okay, now we're going to add a few more colors here uh, and make a make it look like it, it's very much round and that we're looking through it. So make it look transparent uh, and give it a nice spherical appearance as well. So let's use our baby brushes and we're going to use some more light blue, but I like there to be a little bit more blue in it. And from the bottom, we're just going to take our brush stroke and kind of flick it upwards and create some little brush strokes. Kind of going in the direction of our oval. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add some at the top as well. See how I've started at one sort of top part here and then pulled my brush down in the four directions. As always, feel free to practice any brush stroke on your table, on a papered table, before you apply it to your painting if you're feeling nervous. Okay, I'm going to add a tiny bit of bright blue now, and I want this to be sort of translucent, sort of in the center part on the black. Same thing up here, differentiating our jellyfish pal here from the background. And do the same thing with that teal green, adding a tiny bit of white to it. All right, let's let those dry for a moment. We are gonna come back and finish things up there with some really nice highlights. That's gonna make everything really pop. We're gonna do that with white here in a minute. But while we let it dry, let's finish up the background area with a couple really fun things. So firstly, let's use our big brushes again. Make sure to rinse the black out of it fairly well. It's okay if there's a little bit of black still though. Okay. We're going to take this nice vibrant blue and maybe just like the smallest little pinch of a light blue in there. So just like a little bit of white pigment. And I have barely any water on my brush. Very dry brush and I'm going to very delicately pull up and down just in the in-between areas. Make sure not to go over the jellyfish that you just painted. This is a less is more kind of step. Just a little here and there. Okay. I'm going to take just a pinch more of a lighter blue and add some right on top of that. Okay. All right, and I'm going to do something that you've probably seen me do in other paintings if you've been painting along, which is do some splattering. So oftentimes the splatter is stars, sometimes it's sort of stars mixed with snow. Today our splatter is bubbles. But as always, I'm going to mix up a nice batch of watered down white. I'm going to take my trusty dollar store toothbrush here. Make sure it's fairly clean and 
Add a couple splatters. There we go. Nice. Okay. I'm going to add a few larger bubbles as well. We're in the home stretch here. This was a really fun and simple little painting to do. Um, so you want a little bit more paint and less water with this step. It's okay to have a little bit of water in there still to go it, have it go nice and smooth, but opaque paint. So take your baby brush, load it up with that white, and then to create bubbles, these are really fun. You just create a circle. And then one curved brush stroke like so on one side and then a very small one on the other side. How easy and cute is that? And you can add a couple of these, but again, less is more. When in doubt, leave it out. That's my motto. And with the real small ones, you might not have room for both lines, reflection lines there. So like you could do a little one like that, which is one little line. And again, remember what I said about having things go off the canvas looks nice. Yeah. And then why not use our end of our brush to add a few medium sized bubbles, sort of tie it together. Nice, cute. Okay, we're gonna finish our jellyfish now, also with white. This is gonna be a front and back of brush kind of thing here. So first we're going to do the same uh, shapes that we started with. Going over it again, and it makes it look really bold, reflective, and spherical. And then I'm just going to do a few brush strokes that sort of suggest its circular shape as well. Let's do one right, sort of in the center. Nice. So again, going over the same brush strokes that we started with, creating that flat, smooshed oval. Sort of outlining it, but it does look nice if you sort of leave a few areas blank and sort of trail your brush stroke off. Okay, and now here in our tentacles, one last little step and be patient with this. Go ahead and just with the back of your brush, add a bunch of tiny little dots. And it looks really cool if there's a little bit of texture here. The finished product. If you gave today's painting a try, I'd love to see your masterpiece or your other creations. I've created an art share group on Facebook, The Art Club, where artists of all skill levels can share their work and support each other. To support the channel, make sure you've subscribed, 
You can also purchase today's painting. Originals go up for auction the day the painting airs, and I have a print shop. Check the description box for links and more info. Okay, that's all for today. Until next time, stay creative.